Today we want to learn about the top two prospect searches that you can do on Foundation Directory Online. The first thing I want to review real quick, we've done this before in a different um, video, but we want to show you how to find the libraries closest to you that offer Foundation Directory Online for free to the community. You do not need to pay for Foundation Directory Online to be able to access it, and I want to show you how to find those libraries. So the first page that you see here is candid.org backslash find hyphen us. This is the link that you're going to need to go to in order to find the closest libraries that have the software to your area. So again, candid.org backslash find hyphen us. When you get to this page, you're going to scroll down until you get to the map. Right above the map in the left corner, you will see the word location, and it says enter the zip code, city, state, or country. I'm just going to put my zip code to show you what this looks like. <clears throat> After you enter your zip code, you're going to hit search. And then when you scroll down the page, you're going to see the top 10 locations closest to that zip code that have Foundation Directory online where you can go to the library and access it at no cost to you. Typically, Foundation Directory Online has a fee for usage at your home or office, so this is a way for you to access it for free. As you can see, the closest one to me is about nine miles away in Newton, North Carolina, and then I can see as they get further and further away. So this is the first tool you'll need to be able to use to find the software for free. The second page we're going to look at here is Foundation Directory Online. <laughs> when you're at a library, they will have a login for you to be able to access this page. This is my personal page. <clears throat> so for those of you that haven't used this before, the two things we're going to look at today are how to find foundations who do similar work to you and how to find your organization. The reason that those two are important is because if you can find your organization, you will be able to tell who has funded you in the past. And if you find foundation or if you find nonprofits who do similar work to you, you can see who has funded them. So if they are close to your geographic area, then some of the foundations may also want to fund you if you're doing similar work. So one of the questions on our grant research questionnaire that we like to ask folks is, please list two to three nonprofit organizations within your geographic area who provide similar services. Now, you don't want to be duplicating services of people in your own town, but hopefully within your region, there are some other groups that are providing similar services. The search is the same for both of these. You're looking for an organization name, whether it's your organization or an organization that's similar to you. So the first thing I want to show you is when you go to this search box, you're going to look on the right-hand side. Right above the word search, there's a tiny uh, – writing in blue that says advanced search and filters, you want to click that and it's going to open up this section. You want to go to the left hand side where it says organization name and you want to type in the name of the nonprofit you're looking for. Okay, so we're killing two birds with one stone here. You're either going to look for your organization or one that provides similar services to you. Now you do have to have the official name of the organization in order to find them. I'm just going to pick a random nonprofit and show you what this looks like. So here in North Carolina, we have an organization called Safe Harbor Rescue Mission, and they're here in Hickory, North Carolina. We do want to make sure that we're picking the results that say recipient. If you see here at the bottom, it says recipient. If you see one that says grant maker, you're looking at foundations, right? Right now, we just want to look at nonprofit organizations. So we've clicked on that. Now we're going to go and hit search in the bottom right corner. And what it's going to show us is any foundation who has funded Safe Harbor Rescue Mission in the past. So it shows us right here that there are 28 grant makers who have given a total of 83 grants to this one recipient. Okay. Now, we want to know who are these grant makers. Well, here they are, and they're listed. So you can go to the right-hand corner and click View All, and they're all going to come up. They are usually in order on the right-hand side of the page by the number of grants that particular foundation gave. So as you can see, General Electric has given 10. Those are usually matching gifts. Uh, TSH Charitable Foundation has given seven that total $106,000. And then you can keep going on down the line. Now, 
if you wanted to see them in order of who had given the most money, you could just go to the top of the column and click amount funded, and it would change the order to the ones that have received the most money, which as we can see is probably from the National Christian Charitable Foundation. They've given $345,000. Um, now, if you want to know what the money was given for, so I'd like to know what has TSH given money for for these seven grants. If I click the seven grants, it's going to open up this page. and It's going to show me the year the dollars were given, what the primary subject was, and then I can kind of get an idea. Well, if I want to know a little bit more information, then I can click that $25,000 or the 15, and it's going to give me even more information. So now I'm going to be able to see that this $25,000 went to Safe Harbor for a capital campaign for a new ministry center. This was given in 2019 for $25,000. And then you can see all the search criteria, and you can see the subjects that they searched under, the population and groups that are covered, the, the transaction type was cash grants, um, et cetera, and so forth. So once you get to this point, if you're Safe Harbor, then you can go and say, oh, yeah, I forgot. Or maybe you're a new staff person, and you're just trying to learn history of the organization. Now you know some folks who have funded you. But if you're an organization who is similar to Safe Harbor, now you can go on and say, oh, maybe, because I feel like I'm in the uh, Unifor area or in Western North Carolina area um, and I'm providing similar services, maybe the TSH Charitable Foundation would want to fund me as well. So then you would go and click on this blue box and it's going to take you into the page all about that grant maker. So then you can do all the research here and learn about who they fund, where they fund, how much they fund, what the process is to submit an application. So you've got all your interactive maps here. You can learn a little bit about the states where they've given. You can see other organizations they have funded, what subjects and geographic focus they have, what are their support strategies. And then there's six other funders that are similar to TSH. So then you can go and look at each one of these and see if they might be a good fit. Okay? So that is the um, best way to start grant research. See who's funded you in the past and then see who has funded organizations who do similar work to you. I hope that really helps as you get into doing grant research for your organization. Check back with us soon for additional videos on um, grant research.